Hi guys, this is Ali. I'm a third year medical student here in Southern California. And what I'd like to do today is make this brief video on the resource that I use to keep up to date with medical literature. The application is called Read by QXMD. This is going to be compatible with either Android or iOS device. So I'll go ahead and delve into that right now. Now what you have over here, if you click on the top left three lines, you're going to have an ability to search for papers or topics that's pretty self-explanatory, or you could have your own subscriptions. This is where I'm going to be focusing on mostly. If you click on Featured Papers, this is basically an area that focuses more so on whatever specialty of interest that you have. If you click on Edit, I don't know if you saw that, on the top right here, if you click Edit, it's going to give you an option to click on uh, put a check mark next to any specialty that you're interested in. Once you save it, this list is going to be specific to whatever the specialties are. So this is a great way if you're interested in something um, in, in a rotation that you're on or whatever, you just check mark the uh, specialty that it is and you'll have the latest research for that specialty. So if you click on My Follow Journals, this is exactly just that. This is more specific to a journal that you have of interest. If you click on Edit, you look for the journal that you like and once you save it, it'll populate based off of those. It'll give you a little uh, red square with an indicator of how many new articles. Um, these don't show any new articles right now, but it'll basically, you just click on them and it basically gives you all the articles for that journal. So if you click on my followed collections, I don't really have anything here, but if you click edit, there's collections that are created by QXMD, as well as collections that other people publish on read by QXMD. So, you know, created by Merlin Curie. I don't know who that person is, but, um, or created by QXMD. You could subscribe to these collections, and it's a great way of following your colleagues, somebody that you know, or uh, something that uh, QXMD actually populates on its own. The one that I like the most is this one right here. It's called My Follow Keywords. Now, why, I, why do I like this? Is It's because you could customize it as specific or as broadly as you'd like. Now, for me, I, I research in cancer genomics. So this is definitely something, a keyword that I'd like to look at to keep up to date. If you click edit over here on the top right, you could enter a keyword or topic. It could be as narrow or, or as broad as you'd like. So it could be, for example, as broad as internal medicine, that's pretty broad, or more narrow like cancer genomics like I have. Um, you could put as many as you'd like, and once you click on them, it'll give you articles based off of those keywords. So for example, this is how it works. So it's if it's shaded, it's something that you've already looked at. If it's bright, uh, bright blue over here, then it's something you haven't looked at. Sometimes there's a ribbon on the top right, it'll say new, so you'll know if it's a new article. Um, but it basically gives you the title in blue, a little summary, and then if you click on it further, the summary will be a little larger and it'll try to download the paper. So it'll search for links, it'll try to automatically check for the availability, and once it's found it, it'll download it automatically, give you that sound, and you could view the PDF um, you know, on your free time whenever you'd like. And it has all the data. Everything basically that you'll see on your desktop, it'll be right here in your fingertips. So you could search, uh, sorry, not search, you could share the uh, the article if you'd like. You could comment on it, see what your colleagues are commenting. You could also save it for later by clicking on that star um, and give a thumbs up or thumbs down if you like the article. Now, if you don't have time, you could just save a bunch. And then if you click on those three lines right over there, your bookmarks will show those saved papers and it'll save them based off of whatever category you give it. So for example, I have these cancer genomics saved papers. Um, so it's a great way to just like find whatever you're interested in. You know, sometimes you have more time than others. So you're looking at things, you're saving them uh, for later. And, um, you know, it just downloads it automatically as a PDF and you could share it right there and then. So it's a great way to keep up to date. I hope you found this useful. Um, there's other ways that I, I try to keep up to date, but this application I think is the most useful. It's really in innovative and um, I hope you found it this video useful. Um, please give me some feedback in the comments section. What kind of videos that you want to see in the future? I'm going to be producing an OB-GYN review 
um, basically what resources that I have. I just finished the rotation right now, and so I'll be doing that pretty soon. Um, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys later. Take care.